Yo, 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 three ball takes in the house. How are you guys doing? It's Freddie, it's Chase, it's Quinn. Guys, we're doing a 2024 schedule prediction for different teams around the Power Four conferences in the country. And today we're landing on the Texas Tech Red Raiders, right? So quick fun fact for Texas Tech before I let the guys go. Since joining the Big 12 in 1996, They've only amassed one season of over 10 plus wins and only four seasons with nine wins or more. Just to keep that in the back of your mind before you give out your predictions. Quinn, we're going to go to you first, brother. What do you have for TTU this season? Look, man, I think this year could be very close to 2008 and the magic that they pulled off that year. You know, they got the big upset win over Texas, lost that game to Oklahoma, but then lost out on the on the tiebreaker, which gave Oklahoma the, the Big 12 title spot. And then they went on to lose the national title to Florida. But Texas Tech, man, I, the way this schedule lines up for them, very favorable. You don't get like a super serious like contender or even like fringe contender to win the Big 12 until what, Iowa State, which is well into the season. I mean, unless you feel high on Arizona, I, I don't consider Arizona to be like in the top half of the conference of contenders this year, not with a first-year head coach. All right, so it lines up pretty well for them to start like 5, 6, and 0. Oh. Based on the way things are falling, for them, I think they're going to drop a game that you think they shouldn't. So whether that's Arizona or the Baylor game, uh, I think they're going to drop one of those. But at the same time, with the Iowa State, uh, Oklahoma State, and West Virginia games, which I think they would be slight underdogs in all of those, I think they're going to pick up a win in one of those. So I've got Texas Tech going nine and three this year. I, I'm very high on them. I think the way the schedule lines up for them. I, I think a 9-3 and three season, get into a bowl game like maybe the Alamo Bowl or the Texas Bowl down in Houston. If you draw a team who's sitting a bunch of players, I think Texas Tech has a really good chance of hitting that 10-win mark again. But I, I'm going to say 9-3 and three for the Red Raiders. Quinn, I'm so glad um, that you said that because I've got them going 9-3 and three as well. I don't know if you guys remember, but last year I was a little bit high um, on Texas Tech, a little bit higher than most. Um and they went seven and six. Now, I think what attributed to that the most is when you look at their first four games last year, they went one and three. Now, all three of their losses were one score games. First one was at Wyoming, they lost in double overtime. The second one they lost by eight to Oregon. Then they pick up then they picked up a win. And then they lost by seven uh, at West Virginia. So I think if they could have started a little bit hotter. In the season, which they ended the season um, winning four of their last five, including a bowl game. So when you look at this year's schedule, um, the beginning of the year looks pretty easy, right? Like they're probably going to start off one, two, three, four, five, maybe even six and zero, oh, potentially. Potentially. Do you agree with me that the biggest trap in that early start is the road trip to Washington State? I, I do. I, I, yeah, I do think that that is a trap. However, I think they get them early enough to where injuries isn't going to play a part. Now, if they if they played at Washington State midway through the year, maybe after an Arizona or after you know Oklahoma State or something along those lines, I think it might be a little bit different. Um, but I think catching them early it may help them out. You know, I've got them starting five and zero, maybe even six and zero. Um, so with that in mind, I mean, if you could just pick up three wins on the back half of the schedule, which Let's be real, is not that difficult. Your hardest schedule or your hardest game is at Oklahoma State coming off of a bye week. Colorado's going to be trash and, and you play them at home. Um, Baylor's not going to be very good. TCU's going to be average. West Virginia's, I hope and I think, is going to be pretty good. I mean, they're going to be top, you know, top third probably in the Big 12 next year. So that'll be a tough game to end the season. But yeah, man, nine and three, I think is very, very doable for Texas Tech with this schedule. I would not be surprised if it was ten and two as well. Chase. Yeah, I I pitched that fun fact because I thought we'd come down to earth here, but my goodness. Um 
so they haven't had that that nine win the the ten plus win season since Mike Leach and like uh, Quinn alluded to that two thousand eight season was their lone ten win season since they've joined the Big Twelve so that was kind of I I uh, eye opening for me but I think the biggest thing is when you think Texas Tech I can't think anything but mediocre they always find a way to slip up some games they always find ways to win games that they shouldn't it's really really weird. Um, and for me, I've got them at seven and five uh, for the regular season. That's excluding a bowl game. They can get to eight and five at the end of it. I think this is fairly an easy Big Twelve schedule. Like like the guys have mentioned, you miss Utah. You have some down uh, uh, opponents like Baylor and TCU who you could pick up wins on, and you don't really face a struggle team until you play Iowa State or Colorado, honestly. And then you have Oklahoma State and West Virginia to end the season. So it's a really favorable schedule, but. Texas Tech always finds a way to slip up in meaningless games. And you see them last year, I think, in the year before when they played Texas. I think they played them all the way down to the wire and had a chance to beat Texas. Uh, I think Oregon as well. Yeah, they lost to Oregon by eight last year in week two. Uh, and then I think they played Texas later on. No, they just they just lost to Texas. Don't 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 look at that. Don't yeah, it was fifty seven to seven. I think. Yeah, no, you didn't have to say it out loud. My bad. Um, it was the it was the Oregon game then that I'm thinking of. But then also you beat Kansas last year. So Texas Tech is just so up and down. Uh, and I think they're a good team. And I think, again, like we've been talking with the Big 12, if you're a Big 12 team, this is the time now where you can really put your foot in the door and make yourself a true contender. Uh, and if Texas Tech can do what y'all are saying and put together some wins and really take a hold of this easy schedule, you could see them in the 12 team playoff. You legitimately could in the back half. In the back half, getting to that nine or 10 win mark, they could be there potentially. Um, and that's that's the thing you got to put, but I think Texas Tech is going to be Texas Tech, and they're going to lose a couple games that they shouldn't. I do count the Washington State as a loss already. I think going there is going to be a huge trap game in, in Pullman. I think they're going to they're going to end up losing that game. It's just going to be Texas Tech. They'll beat they'll probably beat Oklahoma State at the end of the year, something weird like that. But they'll lose like a meaningless game to TCU or Baylor as well. So. Hey, real quick, I just want to point out, I think it's crazy that they didn't reach 10 wins with Patrick Mahomes as their quarterback. Yeah. That's and, nuts. And Cliff that's, Kingsbury, yeah. Well, Cliff Kingsbury is a different story. He's average, but that's why they probably didn't reach 10 wins. <laughs> and, I mean, yeah, it's it's kind of to see where Mike Leach was let go, RIP Mike, but to see where he's he was let go and to see them slowly fall off. They've had some decent coaches. They had Tommy Tuberville, who was a a, a claimed national winning uh, national championship winning coach at Auburn. You got Cliff Kingsbury, who had some talent at Texas Tech, and then you know, but they've kind of slowly fallen off since. So, well, guys, there you have it. That's Texas Tech. That's their twenty twenty four schedule prediction. We're doing multiple teams across Power Four conferences. Make sure to. Stay tuned in. Check us out. If you like the content, let us know. Share it to your friends, your family, your grandma, your papa, whoever else you want to share it to. Maybe your dog on a nice weekend in the park or something. I don't know. But, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been Three Bull Takes. Freddie, Chase, and Quinn signing off.